So how to send out your Fox 4 and shocks to get a service. So this is the step by step guide. Follow along. So you're right here at ridefox.com. What you want to do, you want to hop over to the bike. Click the bike and then you want to go to service. Okay, right here. Click that and then you want to go to click that send my shocks. Alright, so from here, uh, the most important part is to fill out those, the one with the asterisk. So account number, don't worry about that. That's for the dealer. So you are the consumer. So you start typing things out. First name, last name. At the very end, you upload your photos. Uh, receipt. If you have a receipt, well, what I do is upload my photo because I just want to get my forks and shocks service. I'm not after any kind of warranty. Within a few seconds, you're going to receive an email stating your account number, your RA number. Make sure you write physically the RA number outside the box. You're going to get your estimated cost and they will give you a date. Make sure they receive the item you're going to send into three days prior to that date. And then they'll give you a call and then they'll tell you the turnaround time. First thing first, I'm going to take the tire off. Okay, loosen that tire. And then we're gonna work on the brakes. Loosen them brakes up, get them out of there. Next thing we're gonna work on, that's the hydro hydraulic cable. The holding the hydraulic cable, take that out. And then I'm gonna work on the stem, loosen those up. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up on top, loosen that up, uh. Okay, so what you wanna do is bag and tag it. You don't wanna misplace it for it, okay. What you wanna do, you're gonna wiggle it. And then I'm holding the camera, everything gonna fall apart. Blow. You see that? Everything comes apart. And then I'm gonna lay this fork down. So we're gonna work on the rear shocks. There's two bolts that hold the rear shocks, but to get those two out, we gotta get this one out first. And then once this one is out, okay, we're gonna bag and tag it, everything, shocks rear, and it's out. The rear shocks is out, we're gonna lay it down. Guys, make sure you put the RA number on like individual, you know, shocks, forks, because there's a million gazillion tons of parts out there in the warehouse, so you don't wanna get mixed up with other people's parts. Hey guys, so I got a good news. Um, I got an email today saying that, you know, Happy Friday, we are reaching out to let you know that we have added capacity within our service department, are now able to service your product sooner than originally expected. Please go ahead and send your product and uh, using the following instructions. So guys, uh, I think they got the manpower to do it. I don't have to wait until August. So I can send the parts out to Nevada. So that's the address where it's going to. And I'm going to go to UPS. Let's go. Guys, so I'm here at UPS. So I let them tag it, bag it, you know, pack it, ship it. So she started measuring it up. And the total cost for me would be $55.07 to send it to Nevada. Alright guys, wait for a call and I hope this video helped.